name is Jack, I'm the Kid Conservationist, and welcome to the third episode of 10 and 10. This episode is going to be on rainforests. The rainforest takes up a lot of space, so we're going to be covering a lot of ground today. <laughs> Remember, the facts are coming quick, so stay focused. Rainforests are very biodiverse ecosystems, filled with trees. There are two types of rainforests, temperate rainforests and tropical rainforests. There are four layers of the rainforest. The forest floor, the understory, the canopy, and the emergent layer. The trees that grow to be in the emergent layer can grow up to be over 250 feet. There is a rainforest on every continent, besides Antarctica. The Amazon rainforest in South America is the largest rainforest in the world. It is almost the size of Australia. Tropical rainforests alone hold an estimated half of the world's plants and animal species. These are some of the most biodiverse places on Earth. It's quite possible that one of your favorite animals lives in the rainforest. Tell me your favorite animal in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, if that subscribe button is red, make sure to make it gray, like a rainy day in the rainforest. Bats make up the largest number of mammals in the rainforest. The bumblebee bat is the smallest bat in the world. It's the size of, well, a bumblebee. Many items and products that people and cultures rely on come from the rainforest, like coffee, mm. chocolate, mm. nuts, and oils, like palm oil. If you'd like to learn more about palm oil and the issues surrounding it, you can check out my second episode of 10 and 10, called Palm Oil. Indigenous peoples have called the rainforest home for thousands of years, but now they have to share the land with settlers looking to profit off the rainforest resources. Rainforests can be very helpful to the environment and climate change. Rainforest trees absorb carbon, which can help the issue of global warming. When a tree is cut down, carbon is released. Deforestation is endangering rainforests all over the world. It is being cut and burnt down for logging, mining, and agriculture, and it is only getting worse. But we can help. There are already so many great organizations out there, such as Kids Saving the Rainforest, Rainforest Alliance, the Orangutan Project, and more! Check out my other 10 to 10 videos for more fast facts! I hope you enjoyed the third episode of 10 and 10! If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and follow Kid Conservationist on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube!